season and I feel like Vanderpump, you're back, you're better than ever. Tell us what we can expect from you this season. Uh, you can expect me getting into some trouble a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. You can expect me stepping into my own and being myself and navigating the single life. It's going to be a lot of fun. Which so. we love. Like, as yeah. a fan, I'm loving to see the single life of Raquel. Yeah. You're thriving. But was it tough seeing James and his now girlfriend? I mean, there are a couple people in front of you. Is that still tough? Yeah, it was really difficult, especially in the beginning. James and I haven't spoken for about six months when cameras were up and running at Sir for the very first time. So you'll see that episode one um i definitely like didn't quite know how to handle the situation i had really bad anxiety and just like it's tough seeing you know who was the love of your life move on so quickly and like be totally fine with it and then i'm just like ah. so yeah you'll see that which is time. totally understandable like hello yeah. i mean i feel like anyone would feel that and then you have the whole teaser of it all that Lala said that she hooked up with James. Was that a shock when you saw that? Yeah, no, it was a shock. It was more like almost in the moment. I wasn't even sure if I should like take her word for it or if she was just trying to say that for like, I don't know, some sort of storyline or just to like make me mad or like get some reaction out of me. But after investigating a little bit more, I realized that like they actually did hook up on like one of their trips that they took together for um, their music stuff, DJ, song, singing, While whatever. While you guys were still together? While we were still together, yes. So it definitely was not, you know, not good. pleasant to hear, no. Did you ever confront James about it? Yeah, we did talk about it. I was just like, you'll see that go we'll down, see. I'm sure, yeah. Okay. The other big thing that's happening is Katie, Tom, the divorce, and then your kiss with Tom. Yeah. How does that all play out? Because I would imagine that Katie was not happy about that. No, no she wasn't happy, no. Um, well, she actually came to Sheena's wedding uninvited. So the fact that she was there, I don't know. I guess she put herself in a situation that caused her more misery than good just because... I don't know, if she wasn't there, then maybe it wouldn't have, a, well, that's not true. It probably would have affected her just as much, but I'm sure you wouldn't want to be like in a place like Cancun with that information. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Where do you stand with Katie today? We're not in a great place. Okay. What about you and Tom? Because at BravoCon we talked and then there was a little flirtiness between the two. So did anything come out of the whole whole kiss of it? Um, a really good friendship. I mean, you'll see how it all plays out. There was a moment where I thought we could, like, you know, potentially date and maybe feelings might be there. But um, he's, like, a really great guy. And honestly... I feel like we we have very sorry. I feel like we have a lot of similarities that it, maybe he sees me more of like him dating himself, if that makes sense.